you mentioned nature, you know, why, why do we feel this connection to nature on the psychedelic experience? I know I'm constantly, of course, I mean, set and setting, I am in the jungle of Costa Rica, but still, there is this connection with nature that comes up in the psychedelic experience. Why do you think that is? What is that yeah. trying to tell us something? I definitely think, obviously, thousands of years ago, we had a much closer connection with yeah. nature. Um, what's that all about? Sometimes what you, what you hear from people uh, when you give them psychedelics in our research, or you just you know people take psychedelics, is that they'll say things that are kind of blindingly obvious, and then you realize that actually it's the way we're looking at the world now that's gone so weirdly awry. And one of them was a participant in our study that said, um, um, how did it go? Uh, before I would, I would just look at um, nature um, and, uh, you know, recognize it was there but feel disconnected. And now I, I feel much more connected. In fact, I, I am nature. It's that, you know, it's like... Um, I think people thousands or ho however long ago, maybe even the romantics, you know, would look on the question of, of your relationship to nature as kind of laughable because they'd be like, well, you are nature, you know. It's just that the way humans have developed is this bizarre anomaly where we think somehow we're above nature because that's probably how we've become who we are. It's probably our defining characteristic is that we started to sit atop nature and control nature with farming and such like and then started to become really weird animals because of that you know and and so it's a reminder and often things with psychedelics are sort of reminders of a kind of of a underlying simplicity that we've forgotten as we've become so weird <laughs> as modern <laughs> beings <laughs> That's so well put. You really put this stuff really well, Robin. Um, yeah, again, back to these ayahuasca ceremonies, I was just kind of, well, first of all, I, my whole body was obviously kind of dissolved and, and recycled back into the nature. And um, then I was kind of mocked that I had a concept that life and death was somehow important because in nature, it's just kind of all one cycle. Yeah. And yet as humans, we take this as, oh, I'm super important. And then yeah. when I die, it's a big deal. In yeah. nature, it's just another meal. Yeah. You know? And so <laughs> that was a very eye-opening. And then I was also kind of shown that, you know, this little human species, you know, you kind of, the whole world revolves around you, but in the grand scheme of things, you're just really nothing. You're a little speck. And, you know, there's a bigger picture going on here that doesn't really have your emotions. And then part of me fought back and said, okay, yeah, but I am human and I am gonna fight for these emotions. And that made me feel closer to my other human beings. And it made me for the first time ever, like you said, this disconnection feel like, wow, I really have to look out for these other people as if they were important to the survival of the race and that that was important to me. In my normal everyday life, the survival of the human species isn't something I'm that concerned with. Mm. And yet in these ceremonies, I'm gone back to thinking, wow, I really need to make sure I pass on knowledge to the younger ones and I look out for the older ones. And yeah. it, it, it was a big deal in the ceremony. Yeah. And then afterwards I would walk through nature and I, same thing happened. I saw a bug on the tree and I was like, wow, we're the same thing. Yeah. I'm the bug and I'm the tree and yeah. I'm all these things. And it yeah. was, it, again, silly if I had said it to someone who hadn't had a ceremony, but also obvious and true. Yeah, I guess, you know, I. Part of it is, you know, is consciousness, <laughs> being self-aware, a good or a bad thing. And you can feel empathy for the ego, you know, in the same way that you feel kind of empathy for your child when they start saying me and mine and, and creating, you know, that, that kind of drive of life to package and claim and resist disorder. And you kind of get it, you know, you can feel compassion and empathy for that. And and whether we like it or not, we've got it, humans, this self-awareness. And so there is, even though, yes, you know, at that basic level, we are nature. We also have this extra thing. But the challenge has been, you know, what do we then do with it? Because it has such a pull, doesn't it? You know, and it, and it is the, the thing that pulls us along in that industrious way. You know, I will get stuff done. Like I was talking about the manic defense, you know, um, that's part of it, I think. I will just do stuff <laughs> yeah. and build stuff and 
and stuff that goes on after I die. And in, in a way, you almost want a sort of um, a sort of kind of kind of sort of sad um, recognition and empathy and compassion for that essential part of the human condition. Um, yeah, and, and, and yeah, like uh, when you come back and it comes back, the ego and laundries to be done and bills are to be paid, you know, um, it's just going to come back and kick in. But I, I suppose the difference is with psychedelics is it comes back, kicks in, but at least you've got an extra kind of eye on it now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a dance you have to have with yeah. that, that ego. I like how you said empathy. So like have, have empathy for that thing, recognize it, yeah. try to forgive it, yeah. but then also don't let it run the show. Yeah. But also recognize it has to exist sometimes to be you and to do the things that yeah. you have to do and to survive. Yeah, because otherwise we wouldn't. I mean, I do think we probably have a gift, you know, how it's come about, I don't know. Uh, but it is probably something to feel gratitude for that, that we can appreciate. We don't just completely mindfully just flow along with with nature um we can reflect on a you know a sunrise and think oh what it is to be alive you know um that's pretty pretty special isn't it yeah, yeah.